how is uh, the system, computer system validation is different uh, from other process validations that uh, are so established in the pharmaceutical industry? The biggest part of the work, I, I well, I, I was going to say I think, but I know <laughs> after many uh, years' experience, is uh, in the tailoring of the uh, software settings. That's where the real, you know, the a lot of people think of uh, CSV as a bit of a dark art, and um, I suppose in some ways it is because to really get the best out of uh, a system, um, you you know you really have to know the software and the IT infrastructure aspects of a system um, to really be able to tailor the settings. So you know there's a trick in knowing and understanding all of those elements so you know it's it's quite tricky because the person who's doing the work or the people doing the work they need to have experience really as, as from a user's perspective uh, they need to uh, understand the IT elements of the process and you know all the data integrity uh, aspects of the of the process and then also be able to bring that all together to configure a system and then obviously to validate. Um, so it's kind of a challenging, uh, difficult to find skill set. Um, so, so, you know, the, to be able to execute CSV uh, well, um it, yeah it's, it's it can be pretty challenging and of course working cross-functionally as well is required within the business to get to get it done so there's a project management uh, um, aspect to it as well so last time I rem- we also talked about uh, the um, multidisciplinary team that uh, should be put on on uh, the decision of uh, data integrity and uh, uh, there should be people who know the system because they can uh, play with it and they um, really need to have the knowledge and the interest to dig in and to find uh, the loopholes in the system and so on. Uh, so and the uh, do you believe that right now the people in the pharmaceutical industry who work and work on the CSV are not uh, qualified enough uh, really to do it? I think um, it's difficult to find people with the right skills for sure. And I think if you don't, if a company doesn't have people who bring all of that uh, to the mix, um, so for example, in my case, I, you know, I was working in a lab for um, many years. Uh, I was a lab manager. Um, I worked on bringing new systems into the laboratories. Um, so I've seen it from the users, you know, the the the, the bench analysts' um, perspective. And then I taught myself, and with the help of others, uh, to an extent, the you know the IT aspects um of systems introduction and then you know move, made the move into validation um so i kind of bring all of the uh elements required to introduce a new system um but you know i am quite rare i think not to sound like i'm you know <laughs> magnificent I, maybe i am you can say that. Let's say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of companies don't have um, people with all of those skills. So then it becomes a case of you know people having to uh, work as teams, I think, and then you know working cross functionally to uh, ensure that all of those things are covered. Uh, so it's definitely a challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know the more uh, complex and tailorable, configurable a system is, the more challenging it is.